Did you guys have like favorite moments from the streamer awards? Oh, the Mee Young hug thing was <laughs> fucking hilarious. Toast goes in for a hug and she just like books it. <laughs> the noise he made too, like when she turned away, he was like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Snoop Dogg is a furry? What? No, Snoop Dogg, no. Okay. Are you so, sure? So I just let it rip in the fucking doctor's office. It was horrible. Wait, the doctor let it rip. Like I farted me. in the doctor's face. Hello everyone, welcome back for the OTV podcast. <laughs> <laughs> episode 17 i am here with sydney or city on and lily pichu wait i just li lily lily peach yes. take it away lily why are you not on camera today um you know i feel ugly we don't look ugly thanks jody you but look i understand beautiful. not wanting to be on camera. sometimes you just don't want to be on camera you yeah know? we know that feel we do feel it every day yeah, yeah. i feel. am looking to make a vtuber for the exact reason so <laughs> Yes. Well, let's get right to it, guys. Okay. okay. So, kids or no kids, do you plan on freezing your eggs in the future? Yes or no? It's on this fucking piece of paper. Okay, it's on the paper, yeah. Um, I didn't think I wanted kids. Well, okay, I wanted kids when I was younger, and then I got older, and I was like, man, fuck that shit. I'm going to be cool, like, hot aunt who travels the world and, like, gives her nieces and nephews, like, really fancy toys, and she, like, dates lots of men named Fabio in, like, France, right? Really, yeah. really specific. But yeah, yeah. That was how I envisioned my life going. And then I got a dog, and it changed everything, and I was like, wow, this is the most Dogs fulfilling do thing. That. I've ever done in my life and like I love Crash so much and then now I want kids. Wow, dogs yep. made you want kids. They made me want kids. Some people wow. say that um, dogs make them not want kids yeah. because of how much work those little shits are. What about you, Jody? Um, I'm like Sydney, you know, thought I was going to quit, quit you know, yeah, yeah, travel cool the world, whatever. Got cats, boyfriends. realized that I don't need to have kids and now I'm like, yeah, I'm good, I'm fulfilled. No kids? Wow. I, but I don't know, you know, I, it could change. I don't really like think of it in my future plan. I'm kind of very, I'm living in the now, I'm very present. And if I was to have kids, it would be like in like 10 years or something. I don't know. And then you'd have to freeze your eggs. So yeah, I would probably freeze my eggs if I make a shit ton of money and have the money to do that. The energy of youth is truly inspiring. <laughs> well, I hope you guys have babies. You guys would make beautiful babies. Do you want kids? I'm taking no. that as a no. No, absolutely okay. not. Got it. Did you always know you didn't want kids? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. once since oh. I was like young. Oh. I think my parents gave up too. Of trying like, to like well well they eat like they see how i am hmm. like i sleep a lot and they just see like generally what kind of person i am and i'm like mom i don't want kids and they're like yeah you shouldn't have kids <laughs> <laughs> so they've accepted me for who i am which is great that's good that's good some parents bug and bug and bug and bug about grandkids so if you don't have to deal with that that's actually really nice yep. do they bug your brother for kids oh um um my brother no they don't bug him i think they just i think parents as they get older just want their children to be happy and healthy and successful mm -hmm. kids or no kids sorry i'm honorary girl today yeah yeah yeah, you gotta, yeah. You gotta happy talk, women's month talk in a higher pitched oh do i have to talk like this yeah and have a little mm -hmm. accent to it add a little vocal fry to it yeah accent yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's a california girl hey Hi. Hey. Honestly, that was pretty good. Honestly, hey. pretty good. What's your girl name? You, you can name me. Brittany. 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 Welcome Brittany. to the podcast, Brittany. Welcome to the podcast. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, <laughs> Welcome in. Brittany smokes seven packs a day. <laughs> <laughs> what else? We, we talked about freezing eggs. You would freeze your eggs. That shit's expensive as hell. Okay. Yeah, every year, I believe it costs. How much does it cost? You know, I'm going to be broden today. I'm going to look it up on the Google while you guys talk. Okay. So, Brittany. Me and Brittany. <laughs> Brittany, are you having kids? At some point, I'd like them, yeah. Mm. That would mean that whoever you're getting, you know, whoever your life partner is would have to agree to want kids. What if your partner doesn't want kids? Mm. I'll adopt my own. And then string or, your partner or I'll along. Or do a surrogate. It doesn't have to be their kid, just mine. But, but you're, you're with your life partner. partner. Weekdays, I'm with the kid. <laughs> <laughs> they're a kid of their own. <laughs> Six to twenty k ish, but there's also yearly storage costs, which is a few hundred. Wait, it's six. Wait, to a few hundred k. To... Six to twenty k for the initial. I, I... That is such a large range. Like, what could possibly I, yeah. Google told me six k and what is twenty k for an egg? Freezer like... quality. <laughs> oh, oh, like <laughs> well, this one's at thirty two degrees. degrees. So it says thirty k to forty k on treatment and storage. That sounds more accurate because I know it's like really fucking expensive to freeze your eggs. Expensive. Wait, this is a yearly expense. Thirty k. 
I have no idea. I mean, I'm not very good at Googling. I just saw the numbers and <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> oh, Brittany, Brittany you know, it's important for us. Case. <laughs> I am curious because if it's a yearly expense, I'm like, okay, 30K for a year to freeze your eggs. Like if that's something that you want and you know it's in the Do you, you think anyone you, has you know. ever eaten their eggs? Like caviar? Excuse me? Put like this, they have out, gone out, through. Wait, they've like scooped their eggs out. Wait, you can't even scoop your eggs out. You gotta scrape them out. You'd have to get them from the doctor. You'd have to, to get them from the doctor. Out. And I don't think the doctor would let you eat your eggs. But people do eat Wait all day. People second. eat their placentas. Why would the they doctor do like not let me yeah, eat my very eggs. normal thing? They're I mean, fine. They would probably think you're like weird. Yeah. I'm sorry, ma'am. We can't do that protocol or something. Yeah. You know? Okay. Shot. And then like, just okay. But nothing's stopping you, bro. Uh, nothing's stopping you, Jody, from getting a melon scooper and going inside your. There's uterus. a lot stopping me for like like That's injuring true. myself. That's true. But, but or... what's the doctor gonna do? Like, oh, we can't let you eat your eggs. I'll be like, oh, okay. Could I have them instead? And then they'll be like, okay. And I'll be like, oh. I don't even think you get to see your eggs. I'm pretty sure they're they, so tiny. Do they knock aren't you they? out for this? I feel like they knock you out. They take out your eggs. They're in a freezer somewhere. You they wake up and you're like you sipping out. on orange well, juice no. and eating crackers and shit. I don't think they knock you out. To get your eggs? I'm pretty sure you... Sh- I, I, I would, I would they don't knock you out for your IUD insertion. And they, they fucking should. should. And they, they fuck should. And they should. Can we talk so about should. that? That is insane how no. like... For those who don't know, um, there's different kinds of birth control. IUD is one of them. And they don't require that you go under when they insert it or remove it from your... I don't know, womb. They time. recommend that you take just like your over-the-counter pain meds, like an ibuprofen, like two hours before your appointment. Isn't that insane? That insane. shit is actually the most painful thing that I've ever experienced. Wait, you did it yeah. like mm-hmm. <clears throat> without any, you just painkiller? I took, I think I did take an ibuprofen like two hours before. Like how that'll help when you're like, no, it helps none. No, it hurts so none. bad. It, it was it, my greatest that, yeah, pain experience. Yeah, it's either that or do you pay like, what, $800 for like, anesthesia or something i don't even yeah. think they offer anesthesia no you can the, you oh, can but it's just it, but it, a yeah. lot. it's not like recommended they're like oh well people like do it all the time without doing they it. tell you that it's not yeah, yeah the common. first time i got my so i've gotten an iud put in twice because i got mine replaced in the second one and second one in i was like i knew what was coming but the first time i brought my ex with me and i'm in the doctor's office first of all she's up in my shit and it hurts so fucking <gasps> bad like, literally the worst pain oh i've ever God. had in my life and <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna tell two really embarrassing things that happened in this appointment. We're getting to TMI here. So I'm sitting there, whatever. And like the pain that you feel while you're getting your IUD put in, I don't even know how to describe. Like it's somewhere that you've never felt before. And then on top of that, like your whole body, you can't like control anything. So I just let it rip in the fucking doctor's office. It was horrible. Wait, the doctor, let it rip Like I farted in fart. the okay. doctor's <laughs> face. I farted in my gynecologist's <laughs> face and I felt so bad. Is... She's just like, and I'm like, she was like, no, it's okay. It's like super normal. It happens all the time. Like, I mean, what? she's probably seen like, see, yeah, she's, she's seen everything. Okay, smelled. but it doesn't stop there. Okay. So <gasps> then. Shat. No, no way. No, oh, no. Oh, girl. Oh, okay. But, mm, so anyways, then we finish up and, um, She's like, okay, I'm gonna go get you some juice and you know crackers, whatever. So she leaves the doctor's office and she's like, are you like stable enough? And I'm like, yeah, no, I feel okay, I feel fine. So she steps out and I'm like, immediately projectile vomit across the room. Oh like I'm talking like the shit you God. see in cartoons all over her office. Like oh. not only did I fart on this poor woman, then she had to clean up my vomit. Oh no! So it was patients yeah, of a scene. They they should have put me under, I think. Second I, one went swimmingly. Oh, yeah, that's wow. good. Yeah. No, I do think that they should put you under. Though. Yes, I, I one hundred percent. It does hurt. It hurts. Yeah. I didn't fart or um, puke, but mm. I was close oh, to passing me. out. You know, <gasps> so. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what did you guys think about the streamer awards? It was a great event, yeah. hosted by Cutie mm-hmm. and um, Maya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very good amazing. for her first Which, time. Yeah, they honestly blew Killed away. It. I also thought it was so funny. Like they're hosting, they just hit such meta jokes. Like, yeah. Oh, it was really good. I was impressed because, like, going in, I wasn't expecting it to feel like a an, an actual award show. Like, mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting it to feel like the, the Oscars. But then, when they started poking fun at a bunch of streamers, I was like, "Oh, this is exactly like what they do in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Like, they make fun of each other." And in Hollywood, it always feels like, "Oh God, I don't know if like fucking Beyonce is gonna take that <laughs> joke well, right? Like, she might be fucking pissed." But I, like, they're picking on Ms. Kiff and Hassan, and yeah, I Dude, saw them out the, of my periphery. They, they just kept being like, <laughs> "Yes." The amount of jokes though that were thrown at their expense. <laughs> yeah, was like pretty much. I would say eighty percent of them because yeah. they knew that they could take it. Yeah, and like 
I mean, yeah, we do be making, everybody be, be making fun of them on the internet. Yeah. So here we are. Yeah. That's true. I like the one about Jason R. <laughs> I like that one too. I know. And then they did a curtsy on stage. Yes. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> they were very, very meta about their yeah. jokes. They kept it really funny for sure. Something that does come to mind in terms of unsavory was I like for half of the award show could not hear the hosts because the people were talking at the bar. I literally like it just there, there was open doors to where the bar was behind us and then our table and then the stage. And I like would look up at the teleprompter to hear what they were saying. Yeah, I really so wanted you to be like, the bar, shut the fuck up. You know who was at the bar? Who? I learned? Broden. <gasps> Broden. No Broden. No fucking you way. Were you were one of those people. <laughs> you were the reason why Jody and Sydney couldn't hear a thing Cutie was saying, huh? What have you got to say Confess. for yourself? Say okay, I have a number of things to say here, okay? <laughs> okay. Say it while it eats um, in your head. First of all, the, the sound inside the actual venue was pretty poor. Um... <laughs> It, from my Damn. table, I, I couldn't hear anything actually. Oh. Like Selena and I were sitting next to each other and I was like, can we get subtitles? Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I got up to get a drink and there were some noisy people back there, but they just have like naturally loud voices. Mm -hmm. Who was it? Who was it? Actually not like, I feel like all of the streamers were pretty respectful. It was like the plus ones that were the loud ones. Mm. Did you hear that? If you're watching this and you're a plus one, we're talking about you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're talking about you. <laughs> pretty boisterous. Mm, interesting. My jaw hurts from this airhead. Why, do you, Why did you go back? It. Someone take it. Someone take it. <laughs> oh, it really hurts. Why did it does it look like you're chewing on a rock. <laughs> she ate the whole thing. I feel like she's like a dog where it's like, where did you get this? <laughs> you love Take it, it out of your mouth, Lily. Take it out of your mouth. You loved it in front of me. Why would he do that, right? It's he also left pickles rodents. in front of you and a wrapper. Are you gonna eat both of those? I was getting to the pickles after. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I actually regret this so much. That's why I stopped eating it. Was because it hurt. He did. Okay, we had a whole we'll conversation. He complained about it. Faster, yeah, right. Lily. Faster. We have a podcast going. To be fair, um, we we like airheads. These are just old ones. Yes. Yeah. yeah we do. The, it was very stale. Mm. Anyway, um. I did like the crayons and coloring, but yeah, and the Cheerios. That was the Cheerios. Really oh my God, Michael went ham on the coloring. <laughs> and then Peppa, dude, he drew like diamond armor. He started like he was so focused, like drawing the Nether portal, like coloring it in purple and all this stuff. It was very nice. Good, good choice for the coloring, coloring. But Cutie knows the streamers really well. Yeah, and it was true. It was right at the bit where I was like, oh, I am drifting. There are things. What am I crayons. thinking about? Like not this. And she was like, for all of you streamers, I was like, that's me. That's me. I'm not. I can barely pay attention anymore. Granted, I didn't end up using the coloring books, but it still brought me back mm. in because I was like, you're being a pay attention. <laughs> when I <laughs> came home attention. that night, I looked in my bag and he just, he, he stole a box, the box of crayons. <laughs> it was in my bag and I'm so like, all right, souvenir. <laughs> Michael stole them? Yeah. He, Is Michael one of those? Like, do you go to a restaurant and he like takes the seasoning and shit? Yes. Oh, really? No. Takes a cup. Is he a cup takes the Yes. Really? No don't you way. remember the, the his story about taking the spoon? The spoon? Do you know the spoon story? I don't know the spoon story. He went to cut in uh, Las Vegas, super fancy steak yes. place. Yes. He took a spoon from cut and he's so proud of that spoon. Every place he goes to, he's like, he feel the near or something. Okay, like so that. he is absolutely you know. Yeah, he's but a cup Because he, his reasoning though was that he he was like, this was such a good memory. Like, I don't remember this forever. I need a souvenir. That's There's a pictures. great excuse. That's There's a great excuse. for that, Michael. That is. He just takes I'm going to start using that every time I go to Chanel. This is no, not. I'm going to do it for Chanel. I love this story. I just want to remember it. Yeah, it's a quirky Michael thing. When we did the, the animal what's in the box shoot, yes. Willie brought a hairbrush and then Michael brought his spoon. We had, we had to bring a treasured possession. He bought the spoon <laughs> from Cut. And I'm like, you can't be serious enough. <laughs> Sometimes I'll leave and I'll look in my bag and I'm like, where is this shot glass from? <laughs> I think one of a house party we went to or something, he took a shot glass. Which you're an accomplice. No, I'm not. He just puts it in my bag, man. And I'm like, Michael, where did you get this? I'm going to have my eyes on Michael next time he comes I over. I know. <laughs> what it the fuck are you stealing now, dude? It does. It's such it really a Michael fits his thing personality. to do. Like, yeah. Oh, my God. But it's also like if the cops ever would be like, hey, we need to look through your bag. Michael's like, oh, yeah, go ahead. Search me. <gasps> I would be yeah. down under the bus. <laughs> you would. You would. I, I'll, I'll, it's okay. I will take the hit. You would go well, down for him. That's true love. I, would, I do love him. <laughs> so how did you guys feel about the drama that was on the Streamer Awards? Drama? 
Um, let's see. Sydney was telling me about it in an elevator. I yeah. Don't know I, so I, I just saw this on Twitter before we were on our way over here. Um, who was originally a part of um, was getting some flack for tweeting about Saikuno. And I didn't, I wasn't able to find the original screenshots because apparently he deleted his tweets, but it was something about how Saikuno's like fake persona thing and like his like cutesy laugh, anime boy thing, whatever. Um, and he was like joking about him being like, oh, like you're a, you know, you're a grown man, like don't act like that, whatever. And of course, people on the internet started attacking he got pictures of his like house in his DMs and like death threats and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I also saw that post. I haven't seen it at all. Mm. Well, a lot of the original stuff did get deleted, um, but I think like the person in question ended up sort of doubling mm. down on it. And instead of like, then started attacking Stan culture, which I can understand because sometimes stands can be like sending someone a photo of their house is probably yeah. not. And like, Saikuno probably doesn't want that for the people who are, you know, representing him. So uh, it was a, an interesting thing to see. And now I'm really scared about talking about this at all in general. I will, okay, we can steer, let's go. Um, can I pivot. just say, I hate it when people use, you're a grown man slash a, a woman as an insult. It's always said by, like, I don't, it just feels like, what's the word, ageism? I don't know. Well, I just think like if you're a grown man, you shouldn't be tweeting and attacking someone. So, I mean, it's like to each their own. I also agree with yeah, that. Yeah, it's like tip for tat. For yeah, sure. literally tip for tat. Um, but to pivot, so that we don't talk about this, I, w the original clip that was posted of Saikuno laughing, I think was not very, um, like, it was not a good showcase of Saikuno's stream or talent. I felt that way about a lot of the clips no. that were shown at the Streamer Awards. Oh, like, yeah. The clips are kind of like... I was confused. Like, yeah. Saikuno's clip was Michael's play yes. in Valorant, right? Yes. And he was just laughing. Yes. I was so confused, but then Michael was like laughing. <laughs> <laughs> they were like talking like, yeah, we should play Valorant more so like, you get double nominated or whatever the fuck, but go on. It just felt like um, maybe whoever was editing the clip or choosing the clips that were going to be shown at the Streamer Awards didn't really know the content creators mm. or were not able to find clips that really represented them because from a lot of those clips, I would not like... People who were, uh, I mean, gamer of the year is a little bit easier because you just find one sick play from them. But if it's like streamer of the year and they're just doing whatever, just chatting, and you have this like short clip of like, it's literally just Saikuno laughing. Like, yeah. how am I supposed to get Saikuno's personality from that? I learned nothing. He's essentially done nothing in that clip. Um, and for me, it felt very lackluster or like empty. Mm -hmm. And I wish it would have been like, I can think of tons of clips from yeah. Saikuno yeah. that are hilarious that I've seen on wherever. Um, and I feel like they didn't really highlight the streamers appropriately. And I hope that like next year, yeah. they have really great clips. Um, I, I was thinking about that when the Among Us portion came oh, on. Oh, yeah, for sure. I was like expecting <laughs> like at least toast, toast, right? Toast, yeah. At least. But, but no, no toast. And I'm yeah. like, oh. Okay, I don't know. I think of Toast as like the father of Among Us, right? Oh, for and sure. so for him to not be included in the Among Us thing, yeah. I thought was weird. Or like all of the people, like Train, Ray, oh, yeah. like all of these people have, have well, maybe food. Train did have a clip. I can't remember. But there's just like a lot of like people who really uh, were the foundation for the Among Us meta that didn't get an opportunity yeah. to be shown up there. Not I, to say that the clips that were included were like not highlighting those other creators, but like, to not see toast, I was like, yeah, oh. not pay homage to that. <clears throat> yeah. That was, yeah. I did like, um, like when certain nominees came on, they played like a clip of said nominee, right? I mm -hmm. wish that was done for more people. I actually really enjoyed seeing like, oh, this person's coming up, and then like their mm. highlight, like for everyone to yeah. be highlighted. Yeah. You know what I mean? It would have been cool. I would have liked had that for it. music because yeah. all the other nominees are like so talented. I wish they showed yeah more of that. Coming from like a tech perspective. I have a feeling they planned for all of that or wanted all of uh -huh. that. And then as they got closer and closer, they're like, okay, let's cut that. We don't have time to do this. Yeah, uh, just gotta, I we need understand. a clip, we need a clip. There were a lot of awards to go through. Oh, and yeah. honestly, overall, again, it was Amazing. a phenomenal show. Yeah. I thought yeah. like for what it was, it's like great. Yeah. It was and everyone had a good time. Impressive. Very impressive. I was for so impressed. Time, yeah, yeah. For, yeah. yeah. Dude, like Amazing. how can you pull that off? Like, no, I don't know. That's and, so hard. I mean, the viewership was crazy. Incre like, I you mean, know it'll so happen next good. year. I know. Well, so I saw a tweet, something between like Hassan and Cutie. And she was like, yeah, uh, Cutie was joking. Like, I want Hassan to be my co-host next year. And I was like, next year? We're doing this again? Like, I literally can't. I put it like... 
up there with TwitchCon in terms of like Twitch events that I'm really excited for. Like I cannot wait to go to the next Streamer Awards and I can't wait to go to the next TwitchCon and like that be a yeah. yearly thing that we get to do yeah. now. It was fucking cool. Like yeah. overall really oh, yeah. cool. We get to get dressed up, like meet people from like the amount of people. I met someone who flew in from like fucking Norway, you know? Like That's it's insane. just, yeah, people from all over the place were so excited about this and like mm-hmm. able to come. And I think uh, there were a lot of people who didn't get the chance to come this year. And hopefully like after seeing how cool it was, they'll like yeah. have the opportunity next year so oh yeah what, what if like they got the theater that they do like the oscars or like the golden globes at or like it's gonna that'd be, be pretty sick it's gonna be like the front three rows that's it like, yeah the full, like, <laughs> there's not enough of us yeah. <laughs> i don't know i think we could fill i really like yeah. put streamers i think so oh, yeah, for sure. we can yeah. Stream. i think there's a bunch of other streamers out there yeah. like yeah. twitch is very diverse i did think like a lot of the like the um the montage what's the montage the streamer montage you know what i'm talking about the where they shit camp and all of that stuff oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. The year. i did think, i think they could have added a lot more things mm. to that because mm-hmm. i felt it was like in one corner of the globe but there's like so many other communities in twitch out there yeah yes. so i would like to see like more of that yeah next year one criticism that i did see that i sort of resonated with being one of the few black people in the space was that there was not a lot of representation there like people were like the only black person i saw was myth i think that a lot of people who are uh like have large communities on twitch or like large pockets of twitch felt really left out but at the same time this is like cutie's first run at this yes, thing I agree. and so she is we're going just to... nitpicking like yeah it's, yeah it's nothing serious yeah <laughs> it's more so just like um we want to see it improve improve yeah, we yeah, liked yeah. It so much it was like, so I good want to see this flourish and yeah. be successful yeah. like more, the more people involved yeah like yeah. the more successful and the more fun it is like everyone's gonna want to join yeah. like it's yeah. gonna be great it's literally fucking amazing yeah. also not to mention like the after party to i don't ever see these people like the the idea that we can all gather in person and then like hang out talk party together whatever that's like it only really happens at TwitchCon, and we haven't had a TwitchCon happen in forever. I think, yeah. It so. was a good excuse for everyone to just <clears throat> gather and yeah. have fun and talk to your colleagues. And, like, talk to people that you don't normally talk to. Yeah. Because, like, I don't see half these people. And I met a lot of individuals for the first time that I've only interacted with, like, online. We can make friends. Yeah. I really wanted to say hi to Hungrybox. Cause I've before- have you never met him? No, I don't think so. Like before this event, uh, Michael showed me a bunch of you know Smash videos. Hungry Box plays Smash, and I'm like, oh my, Hungry Box is so cool. Like I'm watching these YouTube videos, and he was there, and I'm like, oh my god, it's like seeing a YouTuber. I just, I just saw your videos. You're real. I wanted to say hi to him so bad. What you didn't? I forgot. How? Did- well, at the end, everyone was like dispersing, and everyone was like, we're gonna eat, and Broden's like, you wanna, you're gonna come to the party, right? You're gonna come to the party, and blah, 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 stuff. Yeah, and then you That's ran like exactly faster. Sound. I ran so fast. Wait, did you come? You weren't there. No. no. I went to get dinner, and then I food coma so hard, I just went home and slept. That I, was kind of us, though. We we went home, changed food coma, but She said she was gonna go get dinner, and then come meet us at the next party. I never said, I never she said. She said that. So I, I even, like you should've known. I texted her the address, <laughs> being like, here's the next place, I'll see you there, and she goes, Ah, I ate a lot. Ah. <laughs> but you should understand, sometimes you just food coma and you just don't feel like going outside. I feel like as soon as Lily was going to say, like, I'm going to eat and take a break and then I'll meet you there, I would have been like, all right, see you tomorrow, Lily. Yeah. See you exactly, next week. Exactly, like, right? <laughs> they know me. She can't be trusted. You can't be trusted. <laughs> Broden showed up. Huh? Broden was there. I never expected him to show up. I didn't, he didn't, he didn't have to promise me anything. You're being difficult right now. Let's move on. Broden's always difficult. <laughs> yeah. If- he just gives you shit for no <laughs> reason, difficult. man. Broden is always difficult. Yeah, overall, fun event. Any excuse to dress up and meet yeah. other people, I am always down. I think we should host more things. I agree. We were going to do, Um, I remember, OTV usually does like a New Year's party mm-hmm. every year. And yeah. obviously because of COVID spikes, like we canceled all of that. That made me really sad. This year, I think no matter whether the COVID's existing or not, we do it anyway. Okay, why don't you say that louder, huh? Yeah. yeah we do I it mean, anyway. I mean, the Streamer Awards just happened. Yeah, I think things are changing. Yeah. I think the way that they did it at the Streamer Awards is like, I don't know if viewers know this, but we all got COVID mm-hmm. tested prior and, to getting in. Yeah. yeah. And we had to show vaccine cards and all those things. It was very things. thorough. But yeah. like, that's, I think, We just perfect. do that. That could be a standard. Yeah. Like, that's, it's yeah. not like it's, no one complained. Like, yeah. it's just like a standard. Part what? of the reason, part of the reason some of the interviews were late was because they're like, you can't go inside. COVID test's not yeah. ready yet. Yeah. 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 We have to wait a long time. I wonder if someone got tested positive and had to go home. <laughs> I'm just curious. Yeah, I, don't know. I, I didn't curious. hear about yeah. it. But I, that I don't think sad. there was anyone. I think they would have told us. I think, yeah. 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 
I hope they would have told us. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's definitely something that's like super doable for anything that we want to do in the future. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Props um, to Cutie for pulling it off. That must yeah. have been stressful. I cannot imagine being in her position. Because like no matter what, people are going to find things to like, oh, you should have been this blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. But all the you should have done aren't like that bad. No, either. not you know at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just the people. The overall like, experience yeah. was yes. like it was 10 out of 10. It's amazing. just like if just you like, had something to, dress to say. Up, look cool. Mm-hmm. Take pics. Yeah. I loved her tweet afterwards, too. That was like, I didn't ask your opinion. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I don't care. Like, I ran this thing how I wanted. And like, yeah. whatever you have to say doesn't matter to me. I'm like, yes, cutie. Yeah. She, did, she didn't have replies on. I was like, yes, girl, you did your shit. Like, have the bath and some wine and ignore everybody on the internet, okay. please. Like, <laughs> everyone sucks. <laughs> but I think overall, like, in general, people were so impressed with it. Like, I had, like, yeah. normie, like normie people outside of Twitch who watched or, like, oh, cool. sent clips. Oh, or, like, yeah. I saw you on this thing. Like, what the heck? And I'm like, yeah. It, it reached people out. Aww. Yeah. And they're like, we saw you. And yeah. like, oh, that's fucking cute. What the heck? they're so normal yeah my family watched like it was like, my mom yeah. my mom was yeah. watching she's like congratulations Aww. i was like you won i'm like oh my god even you know it and i'm like daniel didn't even tell her it's cool that you would be part of something that was live mm-hmm. i don't know it makes you feel really proud to be part of twitch mm-hmm. and i'm like oh my god i'm like surrounded by such cool people yeah kind of walked out inspired mm. how did it feel to win an award yeah. miss lily pichu man well, it's a popularity contest, first of all. So I was like, just in case I win, I had something planned out in my head. Mm. I'm going to get up and I'm going to thank all the other nominees. Then I'm going to like shout out the music category on Twitch. Then I'm going to do this. Then that. I'm going to say this like eloquently. And it's going to be perfect. I'm going to be amazing. I went up and nothing came to mm-hmm. mind. Like mm-hmm. my brain just hard reset. And I'm like, I'm Mama Music, <laughs> a talent, comfy beats. I just fucking fucked it. Wait, okay, but you did hit a couple of your checkpoints. Yeah. You shouted out it's, the it's music like, category. It's like and whatever like came to mind. Like I just like blah 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 yeah. blah blah. But then the lights were so bright, the microphone was higher than I thought. Like all of you had no faces to me. Mm-hmm. Like it was like stage fright just yeah. like, t- completely takes over. Yeah. Stage fright's bad. Yeah. But you I mean like from a viewer's perspective, it just came off as very lily. Like you were very genuine yeah. to yourself. You were like thankful for the other people and like it was cute. I thought it was super cute. I tried watching it again, like the mod, and I had to keep pausing because I kept cringing. <laughs> it's so hard to watch yeah. yourself. Like, but it was cute. Like everyone was really like supportive and happy. I just like, yeah, it, everyone's really kind and happy and mm-hmm. supportive, and that yeah. that, was, that meant a lot. That's good. Did you guys have like favorite moments from the streamer awards? Oh, the Myung hug thing was <laughs> fucking hilarious. So I didn't see that live and I got to go back and watch it on stream it's yesterday. It's so funny. Oh my God. I haven't because seen you it. know she didn't like intend to. Yeah. She said she just had like stage fright. <laughs> Toast goes in for a hug and she just like books it. Like you know she wanted off the stage as like, soon as possible. And then he's like, oh, and then he goes to make his speech. It's so, it comes off really funny on the clip. Yeah. The noise he made too, like when she oh. turned away, he was like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It hurt all of us. It that really did. That so was a good, good moment. Yeah, so we should just host more events so we just, I just want to dress up. You've been talking I about know. a ball for wanna, so long. Well, no, I'm ball. planning a fairy tea party. A big party. Wonder if it's happening in August. Really? Mm-hmm. Is it like Aww. a birthday fairy tea party? Is it gonna be well, a birthday celebration? Um, that no, I didn't plan for it to be. It just that August worked out. Worked out. Gotcha. But, yeah, oh my I god! Guess. So that's so super, that sounds really so cute. everyone's required to dress up like and fairies, be cute, like little fairy cottage court. Yeah, with like little flowers and ribbons yeah. and like those saint, those you know the what do you call it the chiffon. Mm. Chiffon. Yeah, chiffon, yeah, right. Chiffon stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. very fairy like clothing. But I think we should have an OTV ball. Ball? Masquerade ball. ball. Masquer- I've literally all I've ever wanted to do in my life yes. is go to a masquerade yes. ball. Yes, I would love. I would pay to see a bunch of streamers attempt to dance in a ball. Like that <laughs> sounds really fun. <laughs> Wait, we could do. We could throw a ball and then have like um ball, like a ballroom teacher. That could yeah, be, could all we can all learn. Okay, fine. No, 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 no. I'm no. down. I'm down. I, I would be down. I just like square dancing throwback. Okay, that was the first thing I thought. I was like, we had square dancing in middle school, and our dance instructor's name was Dancing Dave, and he always had crusty hands. And when I say crusty, I mean like his skin would flake off when you would touch his hands. Like it was disgusting, and dancing he was really Dave. dancing. Did Dave. he have like a condition? No, I don't think. I think he was just really dry, and he used to hit on the middle school girls. Exactly, he was overall crusty as hell, and that just gave me that throwback. And that's why when you said ballroom dancing, I was like dancing day. But I'm sure not all you know dance instructors are 
scary creepy pedophile yeah 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 Yeah. he was like a meme at our school though because everybody was like what the fuck's up with dancing dave (laughs) (laughs) masquerade ball anyone yeah OGB masquerade ball i'm down though that sounds fun that'd be really fun it makes me think of the harry potter scene where McGonagall teaches them all how to dance. Yes. But see, like, it could be really fun for everyone to dress up and then be taught to dance. Man, I remember when I was younger and I watched that movie. Hermione, when she was going down the steps with Victor Crumb, you guys know, mm. she was supposed to be like, oh my God, Hermione can be, like, beautiful. Like, it was supposed to be like, wow, moment. And I remember watching the movie and I'm like, but Emma Watson's always beautiful. I really want it, like, for me, like, as a plane, I wanted to see someone, like, really transformed mm. and that mm. people can be transformed. But I remember thinking when I was younger, well, she was already so beautiful. She was. I, see what you I mean, mean, she is. It reminds me of the other. Um, fuck, it was this Korean. Princess. Oh. Oh, sorry. Pr- that I know what you're, you're talking, talking about. about? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. There was a Korean yeah. web comic about a girl who completely transforms with makeup. Do you know what I'm talking? Something I think true I beauty or something. About. I don't know the name, but I actually know what you're talking. Yeah, about. they made a live action adaptation of it, right? And I was really excited because, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I want to see, like, the plane and then, like, the transformation. But again, it was just, she was beautiful mm. before and after. So I don't know. For me, it was like, man, I couldn't relate. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I remember they just gave her, like, glasses and, like, fake acne or something. And I'm like, this is kind of messed up. Right? Yeah. Like, why do they always, like, what's wrong with glasses and yeah. acne? Like, <laughs> yeah. And, like, they'll do, like, freckles. And, like, things. yes, like, bushy like, brows or something. Yeah. But, like, that's, that can be beautiful, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, like, I don't like that message at all. No. That's why, I, like, I, like, I had a best friend growing up who had freckles all over her face and, like, always hated them. And I always thought Aww. they were so pretty. Yeah. But it's, like, media pushes that on young yeah. girls. Like, glasses are ugly, braces, freckles. Big glasses. Like, it's always, like, yeah. the same. Okay, same yeah, stereotype. Bushy brows, acne, freckles, whatever. Glasses, plain hairstyle, like, like quote, nerd. But it, it's just how we look. Yeah. yeah. It's There's, lame as fuck. That reminds me of the scene that I showed you guys at the offline house from not another teen movie where it's like a it's it's a meme about like teen movies and how like the guy's like oh i bet you can't take like the least popular girl Mm, and make mm -hmm. her like cool and then they go through all these girls and it's like all of these like i i feel offensive saying them but like they go through like all these like horrible things and then the last one and he's like too easy too easy and then he's like okay her no is she wearing glasses and a ponytail? <laughs> yeah. I can't change her. I can't fix her. That is so oh, that movie. Yeah. It's like it's God, a parody. So yeah. Of the, it's yeah. a parody. Yeah. It's a parody. So at least they're like pointing it out ironically in that the one that Broden's talking about. Yeah. It is really fucking that's, funny that's though. Funny. <laughs> Did you guys have girls growing up in media that like you really, really wanted to be? Like for me, it was Rosal Rosalina from the Naked Brothers band. Like I remember watching her when I was a kid, and I was like, "Holy shit!" You wanna like, be. I want to be her. Wait, I don't so know who bad. that is. Did you watch the Naked Brothers band show? I don't know what that is. Crazy, crazy car, crazy car. Rosalina. No, I'm... I like a Rosalina. And it's the girl from Mario Galaxy. Rosalina, Naked Brothers band. Yeah. Brothers band. I'm so surprised neither of you have heard of this. Can I see? Brittany. Brittany. Anybody? Oh. 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 I no, have I don't seen know this girl, but I've never watched Naked Brother Man. But I have, like, I know who this girl is, but I don't gotcha. know why. I bet there's yeah. a, girls who think the same of you guys now, though, too. Which is wild. Isn't that, that crazy? That is weird to yeah. think about. Like, that there are people who look up to you. Yeah. The same way you looked up to them in the past as well. That's insane. Who did if, I want? If you had met Rosalina, what would you want her to say to you? Okay, this is weird, but I always kind of pictured her as sort of a mean girl. So I feel like maybe she wouldn't say something very nice. Oh, God. And you wanted to be her. You wanted to be her? I wanted to be her, yeah, because I was like, wow, she's like so cool and like pretty and she seems like a mean girl and she's like popular and whatever. And because like that's what you deal with in school and those girls are like really popular when you're in like middle. Like I was watching this stuff in middle school, you know? Uh, And and so it's like, yeah, that's what I wanted to be was like the cool, hot, popular, mm -hmm. like mean girl. And I I was not. I was not that at all. I'm trying to think who I wanted to be. What did I want? I, I think it's different, like who, my role model versus who I wanted, I wanted to be. Yeah, she I was remember not my role I went model. to get my eyebrows waxed, and I was like, I want to look like Megan Fox. So mm. I went to go to the girl, and I I showed her the eyebrows. She's like, you can't, your eyebrows can't look like that. She's like, you, no, and she was really mean about it. Mm. I was like, I'll just never be Megan Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I also, I think I looked up to Angelina Jolie, but I mm. wanted to look like Megan Fox because mm. everybody Fox. wanted to look like everybody around me wanted to look like, like Megan, Megan Fox. Fox. Yeah, Megan she Fox was the it girl. She was. Hot. 
Yeah. She, I mean, yeah, so, she's, so <laughs> she's still the it girl. Yeah. yeah. Okay, something I've noticed. Do you, do you, I feel like most girls I've talked to will say that Jennifer's body, Megan Fox, is like their favorite. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but ever, like, they worship her. Jennifer. Oh, yeah, because doesn't she, like, eat men that, yeah, sexually assault women or something like that? Oh, I haven't seen the movie. I haven't so, seen the movie either, but Okay, I think Jennifer's that's body, she gets sexually assaulted, but pretty much she. They, like, sacrifice her, I think, ultimately. Her, her soul gets sold. It's been a while since I've seen it, so if I'm sorry but yeah she then becomes possessed she then eats boys pretty oh. much um and then she has her best friend her best friend's like what the fuck is wrong with you like because her entire demeanor changes and she like shows up at school being all weird and different but yeah and then it's really just like her going around eating boys like what is this cool? it's a movie oh there's a lot more like to it the megan fox with the uh, and then the fire i didn't know if you've seen what that is picture? this called Jennifer's, Jennifer's body. body. Oh. But Jennifer's body like recently blew up because like um it was supposed to be more of like a, a poke and and a joke at or not like it was supposed to like shed light on a lot of different things, but it was advertised to the wrong audience. Mm. So because Megan Fox was in it, they pushed it to like frat boys. Boys, yeah. And the frat boys were like, fuck this movie, show Megan Fox more kind of thing. Yeah. And then like it just did ter- terribly because of that. Is it a good movie? Was, yeah. I don't know. I I've never seen. seen it. There was an entire interview with Megan Fox and the director, I believe it was the director, or the writer or something. I'm not doing any due diligence here, but it was actually really good. Everyone was very well spoken and you learn a lot about it. Would recommend. Oh. But honestly, I don't like the movie that much. Oh, okay. But like, it was interesting to watch. Okay. Got I, I got it. We're I all understand. over the place about wait, Jennifer's wait, wait, body. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to have to do a had, you know, it had, check it out. It had a good message. Okay. It was just kind of dumb at times. Like it was just, yeah. it was just like that. But it was supposed to be. So it's kind of campy. I thought they were talking about like Jennifer's body, and I'm like, who's Jennifer? Like, what are you talking? <laughs> Megan is Jennifer. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I heard like yeah, people say like Jennifer's body and Megan's like face is like the perfect they worship. I'm like, who? I was like, not understanding. I see. But now I, I see. understand. Yeah. Okay, it's a movie. Name of the movie. Yep. Boom. I Got have it. no idea if that's like the thing. Like, is Megan Fox and Jennifer's body like it? I have no idea. See, Megan what do you Fox mean? and Jennifer's he was saying, body. Like, the you girls... see how I would misinterpret this? <sighs> the girls view Jennifer's body. Oh, I've seen it like has a resurgence right now for mm. sure. And I feel like it's probably because of the theme and everybody thinks Megan Fox is super hot. Yeah. So like, I, I think it's like a combination mm. of the two. Mm. But it also reminds me of, have you guys ever seen Teeth? Or heard of Teeth? Wait, is that the one where the... Is that why she has the teeth in her vagina? vagina. That I've eat, heard yeah. of it. I don't know if I've, I've heard, heard of it. Too. I've never seen it, but I am curious. <laughs> I would like to watch Movies it. Movies I'm curious about is are also Human Centipede. I know I've never seen that one either. either. And it feels it's like forbidden. you hear about it. Yeah, yes, you hear it feels about forbidden. teeth. You hear about Human Centipede, but I'm not going to watch them. I'm not. Do you know there's Human Centipede two and three? Like, how did they how? get the budget? Oh. How? It's not. It's not that great. Well, I would imagine it's not, but it comes up all the time. I remember like. Tosh.0 would constantly point at it. So like I would, I know. So I would hear it all the time and they would make jokes and I was like, I've never seen this movie. But the way that people describe it, I'm like, I don't want to see this movie. But But it's constantly brought up. It's like a meme because of how outlandish it is. Like the concept, the very concept of human centipede is gross. You know, ass to mouth, ass to mouth, make a human centipede, right? I watched Correct, it It is gross indeed. (laughs) It like makes my stomach turn just hearing it. Yeah, I mean, I I watched it and it was just like weird. Mm. Like, I'm like, it's, I don't, I don't, I didn't like it, obviously, but I did watch the second one because I was curious, like, what can you do with the second one? I didn't watch the third one, too, so because you seem I didn't to like it. it. No, yeah. I don't, no, no, <laughs> first like, time, I see all it's my no, poster second, in my room. Like, third? <laughs> I'm like, Lily, you want it, too. No, 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 no. I like knowing. I'd you rather could, see well, it wait, than wait, not wait. see it. You, you are notorious for just reading. Reading plots. Wikipedia, Google. Wikipedia cannot capture what is inside <laughs> human centipede. I'm just saying, yeah, Lily, like you're notorious for right? reading. How can you? <laughs> how can you went and saw? It's more like morbid curiosity. Like, how did she do this, mm-hmm. right? So Toast had a phase where he would watch a ton of movie recaps. You've seen hmm. these things, yes? Oh yeah. Movie yeah, clips. I was gonna say. Hi, welcome movie to recaps. movie recaps. Do you know these? Um, like, is it a YouTube channel and they upload a bunch of... Yes. Yeah. Well, there's, all, like, six channels, and you they, don't know if they're, like, robots they all, or something. I don't like... You know what? I don't like it when they show their face. 
because I started watching it like a while ago and I really liked it like the robotic voice and the and the synopsis and it was yeah. great and then one day he shows his face and my immersion just like <laughs> I thought it was hello a... story recap here that's watch out All-Star. and take care yeah. low key though that's how I felt at the streamer awards when um, the daily dose came up on stage oh. I was like you oh you're real like yeah. you're not it was you're like, real it's like my immersion yeah. anyway what were you saying a toast was watching See, so he like there's a night where he just kept putting stuff up and eventually we got to human like, the three human centipedes yeah, yeah, yeah. and seeing the recaps for those i was like how do these exist like the third movie is like a parody of itself yeah oh my god it's, it's meta. so strange it's so mm. weird it's like okay, they talk now about I the movie. Find the recap. And you know, that's we, what I'll watch. We'll do it I'll later. <laughs> we'll do it later. <laughs> movie recap's fun. I've been watching it on one point five speed because sometimes it's kind of slow. Yeah, it's just like fun. It's like it's like they're reading the Wikipedia article yeah. for me, except they have pictures and videos. Yes. Yeah, that's I'm why I like you. it so much. No, I'm with you. I because I don't really watch movies that often. Yeah, but there's fun. so many weird movies out there. Like the premise is so weird. I like it. I will have to check this channel out. That sounds up my alley. I thought you were going to say up my ass. <laughs> like, I was just, that would be fitting. Where am I? Yeah. Oh, speaking of fitting. movies, um, Turning Red. I'm very excited to see that. So Yvonne messaged us. and was like, oh, you guys want to like, see Turning Red? I'm very excited to she see Turning She was like, Red. oh, do you guys want to um, go to Turning Red on Thursday or something? And I didn't know what that was. So I thought she was asking us to like go get drunk. Like, oh, do you want to oh. go Turn Red? Like, yeah. No. So I didn't know until literally 30 minutes ago that it was a movie. It's I don't know movie. what it's about. Oh, it's really, it's a little 13 year old Chinese American girl about growing up, puberty. Panda turns into a panda. That's just a A panda turns into a panda? She turns into a red panda, like a big red panda. It's like a message for, like, I think it's puberty, right? Growing up. Well, I don't really know. I've just seen, like, billboards everywhere, but I do love coming of age stories, so I think that'll probably be It looks really really cute. I've also cried at, like, probably every Pixar Pixar movie movie? ever released. Oh, my God. (laughs) So (laughs) I will be crying at this one, I'm sure. (laughs) I don't know what it is about, like, fictional, like, Disney, Pixar. Like, it really hits different. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Inside Out, Up. Like, they just Coco and Ganto. Like, they're so good at, like, eliciting emotions. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, they are. It's... I feel like in Kanto, though... I, I love well, don't get me wrong you're right? gonna cancel I know should yeah. I even <laughs> no, I just because I the, agree I don't get the Bruno thing like I think it's a good song but the one that I think is better is Surface Pressure Surface Pressure is good you oh. know what they're all good songs they're ain't all that good. right Brittany I love them in Japanese yeah what the Japanese versions are so good <laughs> Brittany don't, don't even don't talk to me right now wait I don't get it either well, I just like I get that it's a good song. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no. But I don't understand why it blew up as like a meme. Why did it become like a it's, mainstream? Well, I don't meme? think it became a meme. Like people just loved Love it. it. It's that very much. catchy. It's like it's. I think it's. I like all the different characters coming together and each having a part. I thought that was really cool. It's just like, I think it's a good song. I guess it's hard for me to want to listen to that song outside of the movie. Like yeah. Frozen's whatever the heck that went. Right. You know, like at least it's like you could relate to it kind of outside of the movie. Like you could be like, oh, that's me. Like I struggled too. But like Bruno? I don't yeah. know Bruno. Sometimes, you know, we could live in fear of Bruno's struggle. Oh, sorry. I was going to... No, no. Never mind. <laughs> she has a whole thesis about this fucking song ready for us. But I do think the movie was good. I just probably wouldn't watch it again. Yeah. But like, even my dad knew about Bruno. Like, my dad, who was in his 50s, was, like, talking about, we don't know, we don't talk about Bruno. Seven foot frame, rats so long as rats. I don't know you see the? Did you see the rats version? Mm-mm. Like all sung by rats? No, they just replace all like a lot of the words with just rats. Oh, we I don't talk about rats. I, like, you know what? I, it's... To give you context, Lily's seen this movie twenty times I did and not. in multiple <laughs> languages. She also goes to like the the Reddit meme pages for it. She's. I really love Encanto. Hmm. It's a good movie. I really like it. I'm glad I'm I'm like you it. like it. It's a great movie. It's a good movie. It was entertaining. It's a good movie. I love the characters. Mm-hmm. I fell in love with the world, like the characters. I want to know more about them. I hope they make like some spin-off series because I want to know more about you know the casita and all, like everything you know in it. And we want, I want more songs and I want more memes and I want like I want to know everything. I want to. Have you seen the video um, of the analysis of the movie saying Dolores is the true villain? Okay, what <laughs> is Dolores? <laughs> Wait, which the one who can hear everything? Yeah, yeah. she's the one who squeaks. Yeah, because if you think about it, it's every chance Dolores has to undermine, what's the main character's name? Mirabel. Mirabel. 
Every time she has a chance to undermine or sabotage Mirabelle, she takes it. What? What? Yeah. Okay. I don't like, her doing what that example? Like, Mirabelle? like Sorry. the Mirabelle is the Main girl character. who has no powers. Okay. Okay. Um, yes. It's the first song. Powers Literally, in kind the of, first song, okay. Mirabelle is self conscious well, about movie, telling like, the kids she has, like, powers, that she doesn't. Like, not like just because she doesn't have super strength or anything doesn't mean it's like not a power. Like, like Wait, she does have like. Power. Mirabelle is self conscious so, that of. Be, she of her has entire no special family. powers. The concept of the movie is everyone in the family has a power. Yeah. Except for Mirabelle. Yeah, she's yeah, yeah. normal. Yeah. And so in the very no first arm. song, the kids are like, so what's your power? And she's super self-conscious about it. And Dolores is like, she doesn't have a power. And like mm. throughout the movie, Dolores is kind of like picking at the family. Because uh, also there's a, well, I don't want to get into spoilers, but there there's love triangles and things. And Dolores is on the the short end there too. And so all of it is like, I'm, I'm really giving me a face to stop. No, so. no, 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 please tell no, me I'm more just, about how I'm... Dolores is the villain. She's, she's amazing. She just hears everything. Well, I'm, I'm not really thinking curious about that. I, I, I am, I am. <laughs> is she? There's probably like an analysis video on YouTube or something. We can all watch together. Hmm. After we watch Encanto for the 21st time in Mandarin this time. I didn't watch the Mandarin yet. I can't oh, wait. I love that, Lily. Yeah. yeah. They dub all the songs in the language, too. It's great. Mm. It sounds really fun. Yeah, we right? Do that soon, yeah. yeah, we should do that. Mm. What is that sound? Is that a cow? It sounds like a goose. I hope the microphones can pick this up. Yeah, no. Because what? <laughs> what that? that sounds like a goat. Okay, we have cow, goose, and goat. <laughs> so I think none of us know what any wild animals sound like. Oh, okay, stop. It's done. It's gone now. For a second, I thought it was Somi because Somi's meows are kind of like long. I like, I don't know. But I was like, Somi wouldn't be here. Somi, funny cat. For the rest of the podcast, there's going to be backing music Demo. coming from Lily. Lily. Thanks, Lily. <laughs> Can I request surface pressure? Pressure like a tip, 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 and it just won't stop. Oh. You don't like that song? You can't no, I, no, I, like, I like the song. It's, it's a pretty fantastic good. song. When the drop hits yeah. it, da, 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 that part is like really yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, Great when song. she gets quiet. They're banging. It's like, trip, trip, trip. Yeah. It's really good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Okay, I am curious about this one. <laughs> it's a part, a part of our random topics that we have. It's just asking about your college experience. Mm. And I'm curious to hear. Dude, I went on OTK school today. Mm. I thought this is going to be a breeze. One of the questions, what's the perimeter if the rectangle, the length is seven and the width is four? Per, you know, what, isn't it? It's just seven, seven plus seven, seven four, plus four. Four, four. I'm like, this is so easy. Seven times four is twenty eight. <laughs> twenty eight and locked in, and I was, and then that was really. And then, then he showed us a group of birds. Two of them were parrots. So obviously, I'm like, oh, these are parrots. It was birds. <laughs> it was a planet. A picture of a planet. I'm like, I think it's Mars. It's all red and stuff. But then I copied like I wanted to. I peeked at toast dancers, and because I wasn't confident. <laughs> so stupid the entire show anyway what i'm trying to say is i majored in music uh, <laughs> fine, arts and, fine arts and music gotcha i don't i'm bad at school like i wouldn't be able to know the planet i i it's, can't even point out like states on the map i almost said 28 when you were like oh yeah it's so easy i was like yeah it's 28 yeah, but when then I saw you the, caught me first and yeah, i'm really thankful that perimeter. you did i got you damn yeah. i think i'm only good at math like math well and even then i'm really bad so, eh, eh, never mind. Scratch that. What about your college experience? Um, my college experience was uh, fine, I guess. I didn't love college, but i that's when I failed my first class. Mm -hmm. um, I got sick and was out for like two weeks. And oh my yeah, my professor gave me absolutely no help. So I failed college like my first year of chem was horrible. And then it was like playing catch up and then I switched majors and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and that was kind of a mess. Um, but I actually did like school. Like I loved, I love and still, yeah, still love anatomy, like human biology, that kind of stuff. So I enjoyed doing that. But then all the other prerequisites suck. So it was like I had to take English, mm. you know, like 101. And who wants to fucking do that? I've, yeah. Well, English is so fun. It's like the interpretation of like all these amazing literature out there. That's fun. okay. To be fair, I did take one English class that I loved. It was like the Uncanny Valley and the Macabre. And oh, so, that's, which is, that's we were, always fun. Yeah, we were reading like a lot of dark texts and like uh, watching really cool movies. Like we watched like Ex Machina as like oh. one of our assignments, and so like that was really enjoyable. But the rest of the English classes where you're like fucking reading Macbeth 
And I definitely read that in high school and then uh, I had to go read it again in college. I was like, why am I, why are we doing this? I, I don't remember taking English or college. Okay, miss, did you do like a accelerated thing? No. Oh. I took like writing, like research writing yeah. and things like that. Not even as a part of your prereqs? No. Oh. Maybe I just didn't have, to. maybe it like wasn't the thing. Yeah, oh, I don't maybe know. Maybe my writing counted for my, Yeah, I don't remember. We had, so it was like, reading comprehension so you would have to take like an english class and then we'd have to take like a writing like a creative writing or like creative writing yeah i did have fun with creative i Can used to love writing writing shoot mm. you should you should pick Can up we write yeah. stories? i used to love love writing i love writing i had an elective that was fanfic I love oh my it was, god my elective was fanfic and memes Fa- Wait, i'm sorry that was an elective <laughs> they have like at my school we had to take like but. from this list of electives that you had to take until Fan- you you have to like have so many electives of these like i don't want to leak my school got it so i don't know how to explain you have like a you have like 15 credits that you need to get from this list of classes and they're like new every quarter or whatever semester i think that's common okay i did too and like of that list one of them was for that semester was fanfic and memes 14 year old lily would have killed that um, 17 <laughs> year old so jody killed that <laughs> <laughs> i yeah i loved fan fiction like writing fan fictions when i was younger mm-hmm. and you guys write fan fiction? i wrote fan, I, fan yeah fictions? i read so okay i what, read what? way too many spicy fanfics i think that was awakening of my sexuality okay. like i was like 11 <laughs> what fandom on the internet what what fandom like what um what? i would read a lot of legend of zelda legend a lot of, of vampire knight vampire Chara. oh she go Chara. <laughs> Wait, Those are my top three. Like sexual Legend of Zelda yeah. stuff? Well, the the Legend of Zelda ones probably weren't the sexual ones, but the Shugo okay. Chara and the Vampire ones were definitely. I actually wouldn't read many sexual Legend of Zelda ones, but I would write them, and they they weren't sexual either. But mm-hmm. my the sexual ones were definitely Vampire and that Shugo Chara. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh, also, they like they you write lemon or lime depending yes. on like the level of um, yes, sexual. Yeah. This. Okay. Yeah. Wait, they, yeah, so they, I was they, not a part of this world, so this no, is interesting. You, are, you missed out. You I, could join now. Mm, you're gonna have to pass. We, we, I mean, not even fanfic. I mean, I still read spicy books. You do? Shit's great. Yeah, I don't know. Never really my, was never really my cup of tea. I think that there was a, a few things, like I was a big Zutara, like, stan when I was younger, but I never read spicy stuff about it. It was all, like, very, like, PG. And then, what was the other one? That was, like, my... Just trying to make more sense than me and Zuko. Fight me. Yeah, if I didn't love like Katara and Aang together so much, then it would have made more sense. I, but like, I see but, Katara. Yeah, yeah, like May and Zuko grew up together, and like yeah. you see them have like him I, having or her having a crush on him when she's young. They just like hate like, each other though. Well, yeah, but that's that's there's like so many love tropes. That's totally one of them. They go from enemies to lovers. I love how much you hate the world. Uh, that was so cringe spot on <laughs> so like cringe. So, that was so good <laughs> it was good it was but yeah i also had the biggest crush on zuko okay, everyone yeah. loved yeah. Zuko. Oh, yeah oh my god i had a crush on zuko too he was so he was so cute yeah he was like bad boy turned good yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> like he's the one character like, hi zuko here yeah <laughs> <laughs> so cute so cute was that do you guys have like your first like animated or boy uh, mustang who? Animal. What are we talking about? I was I was gonna say <laughs> I don't know, what are you talking about? <laughs> anime crush or something? I was just gonna say like it doesn't have to be animated, but like first crush that wasn't someone that you knew in school. Like something that you saw on TV or media. Roy like, Mustang. You could Roy from Joe, Mustang from Full, Full Metal Alchemist. Alchemist. He was also oh, a fire Full Metal Alchemist. Every, I don't even I've never Full seen Full Metal Alchemist. Alchemist. Yeah, that's, Every time yeah. they do that. Yeah. I used to love Roy Mustang. I like Sasuke. I liked Zuko. Mm. Wow, I like fire people. I they think always make Sasuke like was probably mm, no. I think it was Ikuto from Shugochara was my first first oh, ever. Oh man, you mm. really like Shugochara? <laughs> yeah, I love. I grew up with Shugochara. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm trying to say is I didn't. Okay, like I feel like spicy fanfic. You don't look for it, but it finds you because <laughs> okay. as you as you are looking through like okay fanfiction.net or something fanfic. I can't Let remember. me guess. You went to fanfiction.net and you filtered it by the M tag. 
No, no, oh. no, no. What? Okay, so how That's I started language. was you would just read fan fiction, right? And I was so obsessed that I would like go through the list of all the popular ones, and like that's how you started. But then I didn't read the description because it was like you could sort by like and then you just most rated or top stumbled rated. upon you did, and lemon. then you start reading it and you're like, this is so fun, the world. Well, what? What do they do? <gasps> and then you're like eleven, and you're like, what is what the fuck? And then yeah, just life, and you know your sexuality is awakened, and then yeah, you just continue, and then and then you sort by M. <laughs> 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 oh. oh, you're so Sunday. funny. I read a lot of um, Pokemon fanfics and Harry Potter fanfics. Mm. Harry Potter is a super popular. Wait, there's fanfic on there's anything. Fanfic. Yeah, but okay, I'm, you don't have to get into it. But when you say Pokemon fanfic, yeah, is this just the trainers? Yeah. Well, there's like everything. I'm not talking. Okay, I see what you're saying. It's not just I see spicy. Your, it's not. Like yeah, yeah, it could just be like a, a train story. going out. It's like your story. Like yeah. I even wrote it. Like I had a train or two. Like oh look at me, yeah. I'm going out from. Got it. Fanfic has town. a bad rep. Okay. Yeah. I do think of fanfic as mostly. But spicy, there are like no, there's fantastic true, fan. Yeah. There's one that started out as a fan fiction. It's like Harry Potter and the Methods of Rationality. Have you heard about mm-hmm. that? It's like okay, so it's basically what if Harry Potter was raised as a completely logical, rational human being. Hmm. Like, everything is, like, super logic. He's super smart. How would the series pan out? And it's very, very cool, because he writes it really well. Hmm. That is interesting. It's really, really cool. Yeah. I like a lot of what-ifs. Like, what if something happened? What if this happened? I loved that series, that, like, Marvel what-if series. What if? It's kind of it like so, that. Yeah, but when they so write funny. it really well, it's, like, easy to get immersed in it. Because some yeah. of these are, people are, like, fantastic yeah. writers. Fantastic. Yeah. I remember there was a popular one of like Edward's point of view from Twilight that went viral mm. like whenever yeah and then she finished or like didn't she no no well that was so there was a fanfic that was written of it and oh. then she actually went to went and did but it but then she didn't release it because it got leaked or something but then oh. she just released it like two years ago or something yeah wait the actual author mm-hmm. oh. yeah I do like those what ifs yeah they're fun they're fun they are they are I was gonna say my like spicy awakening I think was OG Tumblr <laughs> Oh yeah, because I was just scrolling, like retweeting Tumblr my beach pics or whatever, everything. and then there would just be porn. There and I was be. like, "Whoa, what is I'm yeah, I'm like fucking thirteen. I, I think it died out once they took all the porn yeah. off. Everybody was like, "Well, why am I on here anymore?" Wow, and then, yeah. fascinating. <laughs> and then people left, but I, it just like it was one day. Like I remember always like retweeting, like yeah, it's like fucking fashion and like books and whatever and then there would just like a sprinkle of spice and it's always in gift form yes. never like actual videos yes. just yes. gifs and gif i'm the, a gif the I'm creator GIF. said gif i don't care oh. not originally what i thought the creator said gif that's i've been calling it gif this entire time because i thought the creator wanted to make of tomato potato potato it's, yeah, it's, it's the same graphic thing. image whatever it's giraffe <laughs> <laughs> what Lily said. I'm changed. I couldn't it's, think of anything. I'm a giffer. Okay. That sounds... That sounds like a... Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, I don't even... Know. What? What does it sound like? It sounds wrong. Oh. I don't know why. Like, in the furry community, there's yiffing. Yeah, maybe that's what it reminds me yeah. of. Wait, what, what is, is that? Yiffing? What is yiffing? I don't remember. I don't it's, remember. Hey, can you look it up, please? I remember crumpling. Wait, What's crumpling? Snoop Dogg is a furry? What? No, Snoop Dogg, <laughs> no. Okay. Are you so, sure? No, Snoop Dogg joined Phase, right? And Wait, no, his... prior to Phase. This is all Snoop prior Dogg to joined Phase. Phase? Yeah. When was this? Don't know. A week ago? Two Holy weeks ago? Holy shit. I don't know. Phase Snoop Dogg? Yeah, he's literally Phase Snoop now. Can we get. They're trying to go public, so they're trying to, like, make the company seem really valuable. Wow. Can we get. Can we get celebs too? Can we get Zendaya? Oh. <gasps> If only. OTV Zendaya? We would be the coolest people on the I'm block. I'm curious. Yeah. If you had to pick one celeb for OTV, like, who would it be? I feel like Zendaya would judge my slime. Because she's been, like, real slimed. Okay. She, yeah, she would. She'd be like, <laughs> what is this oatmeal? <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of someone who's, like, really funny. I would want someone who's, like, really, really funny. Wow, damn. She doesn't think Zendaya's funny. No, I do think no, Zendaya's funny. She's going to watch this and we're never going to get her. OTV whatever. Jack Black. OTV Jack Black Zendaya, would be I'm great. <gasps> That's the... Oh, that's great. Wait, who's the actor that is notoriously awkward? Michael. Michael Sarah. <laughs> I love oh, Michael Sarah. I love Michael Sarah. Both Michaels would be great. Like, interacting. Oh. <laughs> Reeves and Sarah. Sarah. Michael Sarah. Love you, Sydney. I don't know. I'm thinking, like, Seth Rogen or Jonah Hill. Something, like, along oh. those lines. Like, those, those guys crack me up. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> 
What? <laughs> <laughs> I just gave him a, quir- a courtesy smile because I didn't know. So I was like, and that's, that's, that's Seth Rogen at our shoots. Yeah, Rodan's always referencing shit and I, I never know no what he's talking yep. about. I just nod my head and say, yeah. Sometimes I don't even know if he's referencing it or if he's just like saying An original. Some, yes. So then I just, <laughs> okay, Brennan. It's Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> so what was that? It was Seth Rogen. Oh. <laughs> I'm not good at his laugh. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I was looking to Zuko. Anyway, oh, wait, who is your celebrity? Oh, I have no idea. Mm. I have to think. I'll get back to you guys on mm. this. We'll wait. Okay. No, you guys, we should talk about <laughs> something else before. I'm looking. You shouldn't wait for this. Can't think of anyone right now. Well, Zendaya would be the pick in terms of like popularity. Like we, mm. you know, our numbers would. Zendaya. Stay relevant. Zendaya. Yeah. Zendaya. Because oh. then Tom would hang out at the Ooh! shoots. There's not very many like celebrity couples or just like celebrities in general that I like pay a lot of attention to or like um, delve into their, you yeah. know, like interviews and whatever. But Tom Holland and Zendaya, that Ooh. is like one celebrity couple. Like, okay. I was going down a rabbit hole. Same. I was best. like, I just clicked in a few. I just saw like a clickbait, right? Tom and Zendaya announced their new home that they're living, mm-hmm. whatever. I'm like, okay, I'll just click on it. Oh, like they're cute. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. And I'm suddenly I'm YouTubing like, Tom and Zendaya moments to yeah. interview cute <laughs> moment. And it's just like a constant rabbit hole. And I'm mm-hmm. like, wow, this is how people get sucked mm. in. Yep. I had that with them and um, the two co-stars from Crash Landing on... Crash Landing... On You, yeah. On You. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a Korean drama and they started dating and they're really cute. They're really... Go- they're a gorgeous couple and they just start announced their wedding. And just, and started going on that rabbit hole too. Who I love when actors date after they're in a thing <laughs> together yeah <laughs> you kind of want them to you know stay yeah. together and hope it doesn't like fail yeah um i still don't know wait i thought wait you had to answer <laughs> and you were like oh i know and then oh no no i have no i was just i was adding on to your couple oh, you got excited the rabbit about hole. the yeah, yeah, zendaya yeah, yeah. rabbit because i was also I going down. down the rabbit hole got it i'm like oh it's so cute after I went down that one, I went down Megan Fox and um, Machine Gun Kelly. Oh. Not as cute. Oh. Um, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're really cute, but it was, um, they're, they're like the quirky couple who like makes out at the table next to you oh. in, the, in the cafeteria. Um, um. Yeah. And so like watching their <laughs> interviews was kind of uncomfortable. You're like, like you're happy like, for them, but I don't want to watch you interact. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Super it's like, comfortable. It's almost like PDA, but it's not at all. Yeah. Okay, but speaking of this, it just reminded me of a story from high school. There is this one couple that was notorious for like doing stuff during lunch. And like when I say doing stuff, I don't mean like making out. I mean like they would be doing stuff under the table Ew. at lunch. And we would just, I'm just like eating my PB and J. I'm like 14 years old and they're like, <laughs> some shit I was not supposed to be seeing live while Wait, at lunch. Wait, you would lunch. see it? Yes. Oh. Like I'm t- they're just in the corner of the lunchroom getting frisky. Meeting At least go under the stairs like everybody yeah. else. Like <laughs> know, what right? the fuck? <laughs> the bleachers are over there like <laughs> I say that as if I did anything when I was in school. I was the purest little like leadership child ever. <laughs> um but I knew that other people did and I thought that they were bad. Did they ever get caught or no? Not that I know of. No. And like all of us knew it, like all of the kids at school, we all were just like. I wonder if the faculty was just like, I'm not touching that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know how to react. Yeah. Like if I were yeah, what like, do you do? Fuck, dude, like really? I don't get paid enough. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's true. At school, under like that's so grimy. <laughs> well, kids are something else. The only celebrity that I like genuinely want to be friends with is Haley Williams from Paramore. Like, oh, but she just wow. is yeah. not active on social media. Like, mm-hmm. she's just like, wow, I wonder what she's up to. I don't know, but I love her. Mm. her sounds like but her. I can't follow her. You know what I mean? Like, mm. it's like the one celebrity that I would actually want to keep up with. Mm. And she's yeah. semi. I also would like to keep up with Robert Patterson because Pattinson, Patterson, Patterson, mm. Patterson, Pattinson, 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 Pattinson. 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 But he also doesn't have social media. He just seems like he would have a fun page. Well, because of all the Batman stuff, he's been doing a ton of interviews, and I feel like I know him a lot better. Mm. Oh, yeah, you totally, you, just, you know him. Oh, yeah, I know him. Oh, you him. know him. And I know him. <laughs> yeah, me and Robert buds. go way back. <laughs> well, I, I think also he was very closed off before, and now he's, like, okay showing himself. 
and he's like different than I thought he was. He's very silly. Yeah. I actually like love it. Yeah. <laughs> like he's so super quirky. He's just like quirky. Us. He's so oh, TV relatable. Robert Pattinson? <laughs> I thought of a Stella, Donald Glover. Ooh, oh, that'd be great. So talented. I'm a huge fan of his community. So and then I love his music where he went. I just think he's such a cool person. Mm-hmm. That is a really good one. I used to love uh, uh, Danny Pui, the opera. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I loved his character. But yeah, anyway, I wonder what they're up to. Okay. I mean, Donald's making his show. Do you watch the show? Yeah, Atlanta. I haven't watched the show, no. Oh, you it's should watch good. it. Really? It's What's it called? Good. Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. I will check it out. Season three is about to come out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what else do you guys want to talk about? What do you guys think about serial killers? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Go on. I don't know much about serial killers, unfortunately. Really? Yeah. Dude, dude I think true crime podcasts and articles and stuff like that, they're very fascinating because it's like, how can a human being be capable of such acts? Mm-hmm. They're very interesting to read. Mm. I one time watched a documentary of a Japanese man who like studied abroad for college and ate like one of the girls that he studied abroad with and he's Wait, like cannibalism like he ate her yeah okay like he, he said that so casually like he went out to eat lunch but oh, no he like consumed no he consumed her okay. flesh yeah mm-hmm. um and he's not in prison or anything he just like lives in a small apartment there's somewhere a lot in japan. of cases like that yeah in japan one of the worst cases of junko i think was her name she's a little girl who got tortured by these four guys for a month at their house non-stop and there were like other people who joined in all of the stuff right no one did anything to help because they were tied to the yakuza or something i'm not sure the mm. exact details she was she suffered greatly it's like horrific it's like the worst thing i've ever read and then i think they're free right now <laughs> so it's, it's like, crazy like it's there's insane. just like loopholes just so they just find angry. their way out yeah how the fuck do you get away with eating an entire human being and there's like a whole documentary about it and he just like lives and he still talks about eating people like in the documentary you get to I listen know to him you're talk. talking about yeah and he's like yeah i just yeah. like saw her thighs and wanted to eat her flesh like so bad like every time she wore shorts i just wanted to eat her th- and i was like what the fuck and he just lives amongst like we've probably passed so many fucking serial killers and we have no idea i think there's billions of people on this earth so the chances of us yeah. like there's yeah. definitely We've, some messed up people that yeah. are good at hiding it or we don't yeah. we just don't know that's scary it's really scary but one of the other horrible thing i read was like um this one always stuck with me because i feel like it could happen to anyone where this girl didn't check where to her, what her uber looked like so she just got in a car assumed it was her uber he locked the doors and he he just murdered her like stabbed her and then she just died she was like 22 or something and i'm like what is that's so sad now i read all the license plate number and it makes yeah, sure i know my name i have the pin thing on mine yeah, so we I, have to like yeah i share my ride details i do all of it like yeah. oh it's so scary like have you guys heard about the air tag thing that's happening right now what the fuck? okay so there's like these apple air tags that you can get and um they help you find things so like john yeah. has one right Please now tell me that people do not be yes no. so people will stick them on your car on your backpack on whatever and then they can track you essentially so the other day john and i are in an uber and i get a thing and it's like um the apple air tag is like trying to connect what i was like oh my god someone is like trying to get me whatever blah 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 so i start freaking out but i'm like kind of keeping it to myself i'm like declining the air tag declining the air tag and finally i like turn to john i'm like okay john i'm really freaked out blah blah and he's like oh that's mine i just haven't connected it to my phone yet <laughs> you motherfucker i like think i'm getting fucking stalked oh and i'm gonna god. die and it's that is scary. you want to know john. why he has that my mom gave it to him for christmas yeah so really it's, it's one just... of those things where it's like in theory it seems so useful but people will find like other uses for it that's yep. so scary yeah people like stick it under other people's oh bumpers God. and so like if you ever get an air tag notification on your phone definitely I check into it i have an android okay you're safe i'm safe right <laughs> you're safe <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's just Jody really looks good. horrified yeah i'm horrified yeah i mean there's like all of that kind of stuff like, she was like oh can you help me like bring my groceries to my van next thing you know you're in the back of a van oh i also read like if you're being taken away to a second location you should do everything you can not to because whatever's waiting for you there is like infinitely worse than yeah. whatever you will experience now so even if you think you're gonna die like you cannot go to a second location with anyone yeah because like usually what happens is like they like do whatever the you know what i mean like yeah, who knows yeah, yeah. but at least if you're like struggling and at the get-go they can't take you there even if yeah 
Yeah. I thought you were going to tell me to like do your best to leave a trail, like rip your hair out, rip your nails out. You shouldn't, but you just was... shouldn't go to the second location, period. Yeah. Like, but I do think that doing things like that are great or like how... kicking the but light out I of a really van and like. think that they're going to find me that way? Maybe they bring in fucking Sherlock Holmes, you know what I mean? See, I feel like that's not real. I know. There are so many like missing persons cases that it's, don't get taken creepy. care of. It's really sad. It's Especially sad. in like underrepresented communities yes. that do not get taken Actually, care of. The amount I, of yeah. Yeah. Like indigenous There's women so that are missing. Stories. And are, yeah. You only hear about like the newsworthy well, quote newsworthy ones, but like there's millions probably not millions yeah. thousands millions thousands. I feel like your best bet is to bite off your finger and then throw your finger out the window on another um, note have you guys seen the map of the national parks and the missing people no, no. they di- are directly correlated what, what does that mean directly correlated with what missing people and national parks ah uh, that makes sense and there is like hold on national parks missing people cannibalism Give me one sec. Okay. Quick Google. All right, I'm going to need you to draw those missing lines. People. Connect those dots for me. Do you hear me? about that uh, story about the family that was just found dead in a park trail with their dog? It was like oh, a hus- I did hear about that husband, one. Husband, wife, yeah. baby, and a dog. Yeah. And people thought it was like weird because, oh, they can't just like blah, 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 blah. But it turns out it was just dehydration and they just didn't pack enough water. It's really or so they say. I don't know. It's weird. Dehydration is scary though. Yeah. I remember it being like everybody was saying it was super weird because the dog and the baby like it would have made sense if it was like a combination of other things but like for all of them the entire family yeah it was strange yeah but I think like what I read was like they said it was dehydration dehydration, yeah I never ended up following up with it the top map shows mysterious cases of people vanishing without a trace. The bottom map shows America's largest cave system, which is also near um, the national park. And uh, then it said that there's like a bunch of feral people who live in national parks and that you shouldn't go camping alone. Offline TV goes camping? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Let's do it. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. Like, they think that there's like a society of cannibalists Not that, like, yeah, yeah. that live in the caves under our national parks. Why don't they just go in investigate? I, I also remember seeing a TikTok, not to say that TikTok is completely accurate, but I saw this TikTok of this like national park per, like patrol person and they're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Hi, also, I'm gonna go down this YouTube rabbit hole later. <laughs> also, did you know there's like an underground society under New York? No. There are community, oh, not, not society. Uh, there's just a bunch of people that live off grid in like the tunnels underneath. Um, they... Uh, they leach power from like the street lights lights above. Oh, so there's the like heck? electricity down there and everything. Whoa. Yeah. Is this real? Yeah. Wow. There's documentaries about it. Wow. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, I wait. That for sure. I think I've seen the video of someone that was talking about living in there. Wild. That is wild. Wow. Would you be a tunnel person? <laughs> well, I want to know how you even like, even if I wanted to be a tunnel person, how would I go about being a tunnel person? Yo, do you know about, how do you, do you live? Where, like, how do you get there? Like, who do you talk to? Maybe you just show up. How do you yeah, show like, up? How do you know us, where you it is? You just walk in the fucking tunnel. The I don't tunnel know. tunnel finds you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like, I feel like it's hard to just stumble across. Yeah. Mm, I do like the lack of sunlight. Yeah. Go into the tunnels and walk until you can't see light. And then walk a little bit more. Then take a left at the can on the floor. And then, like, what, like I don't know how, how you go about it. I am not sure. I don't want to be tunnel like, person. Like, let's say you have a documentary. How do you find an individual to be in the documentary? How do you, how do you, how did the crew even oh, know where it is? Yeah, that's true. I don't remember. Hmm. Crazy. <laughs> like, actually crazy. I am curious now, though. You're from New York or New Jersey. You should know. Bro, I haven't been there in years. <laughs> I don't, you think, no, what, what, what? No. I just remember... I lived in a really quiet neighborhood in New Jersey. Very suburban. Good school. That's why my parents moved there. Because they got robbed three times in Bronx. Queens. Remember? To choose one line. Yeah. They stole my mom's jade jewelry. Uh, there's there's a Nora from Queens, right? Or Aquafina? A, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aquafina. Yeah. Yeah. She has a really distinct voice. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> You want to hear it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Okay, we're moving on to some weekly viewer questions. Um, if you would like to input your own question for the next pod test, you can do so on the subreddit. From Marzi Max, when does complimenting a woman's body go too far slash objectify them? Like as a guy, I remember hearing on the podcast that Pokey said she works on her thighs. So if I say a girl has amazing thighs or a nice build slash hair slash bust, is that bad when I genuinely mean to appreciate their body from an aesthetic point of view? Bust? What do you mean? Appreciate someone's bust. I like her bosom. Like what? Nice bust. Lily do be appreciating my bust. She do. That's true. She do, and she's not. Your bust is busting. (laughs) You can go on. Sorry. Um. Um. Hmm. This is difficult. I think it just like if you tell me you have a great bust, I'm gonna take that uncomfortable. If you're like I'm, I'm that makes you uncomfortable. If you're you're a guy. Yeah. generally i think because like um girls get a lot of comments from guys even if you mean it like quote genuinely like they won't be able to tell like if you go to a girl and be like i like your bust it's like how can you make that sound not, not weird sexual. yeah right? so it's, like, like, it's like you it's, shouldn't even be commenting on someone's bust in the first place like if yeah. you tell someone like i can tell you've been working out you look great i think you that's look good healthy that, that's great but your bust looks great oh my god your thighs girl like i'd be like i would thanks oh uh, yeah I, I think any like sexual parts of a woman we don't want you to comment yeah and i like generally. i can't say we like i can't speak for all women um but i just think that it is pretty uncomfortable yeah i think like butts thighs and boobs all off off the the radar but i think what lily said is true like w- there's constant um, push on women's like physical appearance and there's often not on other things so like I think people just appreciate when you're like yeah you look healthy or you look happy or you look blah 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 love your personality yeah you're whatever you're very funny but they're saying when does a woman's body go too far objectifying I think it's when they're specific like amazing thighs yeah what if it's like yo your elbows are tight <laughs> no they're too pointy <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, what? <laughs> if, I mean, like, if I you that- told me my elbows were tight, I'd be like, okay, thanks, Broden. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, like, if you're just, like, some random dude on the internet that's, like, fucking love your elbows, I'm like, this guy has a weird elbow fetish. Yeah. I'm so uncomfortable now. Uh, there's like, a guy hiccups. on YouTube who uploads videos on hiccups. Yeah. Anyways, you know, he's a weird hiccup guy. Like, you just, you know? So. Yeah. And then it's, like, the nature of it is you are sexualizing me for literally anything at that point, and now I'm super uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Like, if it's rooted in you sexualizing me... I'm uncomfortable. But Even I'm if sure, it's yeah. whatever, my nose. I'm sure there's a you know, world out there where like some guys maybe they just really just like elbows not sexual like they just yeah. think your elbows look nice. But it's like how do you get that across? You know? It's <laughs> just just I would say just maybe not if you're not sure. I, yeah. I'm not even sure honestly, like how would I get that across like without sounding weird. I can tell you've been working out, you look great. Is an amazing way to say that you have amazing thighs. <laughs> Kind of thing. Jody, your earlobes. <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's just like, I, I can't, I don't know. Yeah, I think being general is great. Like if you want to genuinely appreciate someone's body from an aesthetic point of view, you could just be like, you look great. Yeah. I think, Keep it simple. Yeah, you've been working out, you look great, can apply to both, like all genders, yeah, right? Yeah, so. yeah. Damn. I'm reading this comment. So if a, if I say a girl has amazing thighs, nice build, hair bust, I'm like, why bust? <laughs> hair is okay. I feel like hair would be okay. Yeah, like, you can say that nice. to a guy. I mean, any, every, anyone. Like, I like your hair. Like, that's very general. I like your hair. Okay, well, I think what, like the the objectifying thing, like busts in general, like have just, or okay, bust is weird. I'm Boobs in general have been sexualized for women and only women for so long that mm-hmm. like, if you were to appreciate boobs, like it's probably from a sexual standpoint because you can't really like, wow, that is some like great boobs you got there. Like it just isn't, yeah. it's weird to say regardless. Yeah, it's just rooted in sexualization. So and there's that, like yeah, no there's way. There's no way to even say that. Yeah. What if it's like, hello, my name is Gio. I'm asexual. You have a great bust. Could I draw it? Oh, art is different. Yeah, actually, I was like, oh, like, yeah. Art is different, I think. Because, like, say Gio is doing a project on 
women's bodies and it's really like to appreciate that then it, you know it's all that's why it's so subjective all of a sudden all it the is, guys in the comments like well I'm an artist I, I, I started doing artists art. yeah I do love art yeah I like you <laughs> may I draw you <laughs> you could draw me Lily thank you <laughs> This is a tricky question, man. Yeah. It's all subjective. Like some people can say some things and other it's just some like some people could be okay with it. Yeah. Some people aren't I don't you know. just have to understand that relationship and the boundaries with yeah. which the person you're talking. Like, po- Generally oh, yeah. go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean like this is specifically like pokey, right? If you were a guy and you type in your chat, I like your thighs, pokey, like how do you think yeah. she will take it? Right? I think yeah. really <laughs> it's about being empathetic towards the individual that you're delivering the comment to. Yeah. Like I like your thighs, Pokimane. Dude, I love the thighs. I love the best are chicken thighs. They are so juicy and tender, more so than the chicken breast. The Damn, meat. she really is objectifying chickens now. <laughs> <laughs> they're good. They're delicious. Anyway, all right. Next question. Flugger butter. Flugger butter. You start training for the Olympics right now. What event do you think you have the highest chance of earning a medal in before you die? Sleeping. That's in the Olympics. Not an Olympic sport. Next. Why can't it be an Olympic sport? For many reasons. Next. <laughs> Humph. I'm going to be honest. I didn't, I have not seen the Olympics like ever until I started living with Sydney. And even then we haven't really watched. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I did not even know how to watch them growing up. Like it was just really? not on my TV. I, I would hear about them, but I would never see them. So I, what is like, can I have some Olympic sports? Um, there's like winter and summer Olympics. Okay. So it's like, think of any sport is probably in the Olympics. So we'll Surfing. start there. I Someone asked this not, last night. Yeah, I'm not sure. an Olympic looking this up right now. Sport, but there are tons yeah. of comp, oh. like surfing competitions, but I don't think it's an Olympic sport. But there's like, uh, curling is in the Olympics. Uh, javelin, um, the one where you go over the, what's this one? Pole vault. Pole vault, uh, shot put, shot put. Um, what are like more the figure skating? Surfing is an Olympic sport. Oh my god! Yeah, I don't think I've ever watched surfing in the Olympics. That sounds awesome. That does sound okay, awesome. I, Skateboarding is not as oh. new. Um, you start training for the Olympics right now. What do you think you have the highest chance of earning a medal? Before? Okay, granted though, like if I'm training day in and day out for one specific thing, aren't I going to be pretty good at it before I die? Yeah, like am but I, I think be- of Olympians as like a different standard of like there's like the person who can practice every day for a lot of things, but then there's also it's just like your eat, breathe, sleep, like your entire your, the way you eat, the way you like your schedule, like everything. Like you're just like like something that I'm already like having a, like I'm I kind think, of good at already. Yeah, I think most Olympians probably have an affinity towards so like whatever these, it is. Yeah. yeah. For example, Michael Phelps has like the perfect swimmer's body. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then him swimming, it's a sh- yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure there are some people who are just like against the grain. Like I may not be the perfect height to be a gymnast, but like I'm still gonna fucking do this. Yeah. But I think that they're like Olympians are just yeah built built diff. diff. They're just built diff. Is there an Olympic sport for aim lab? Um, <laughs> um, there is shooting. There's like marksmanship. Ooh, mm. marksmanship and archery too, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't know what I'm good at in terms of physical, so I'm just gonna go with. Gymnastics. I feel like I could I could do that. Flips and stuff. Yeah. I think like you picked one of the hardest ones. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I usually start when they're like four. Like yeah. four. I yeah. take it back. I take it. I was just cheerleading. Or like, like I think I could curling like this this one. I don't know what that is. Oh, you like push the thing and then you have to you have to sweep the ice so that the oh, thing can yeah, go. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, what makes somebody good at curling? Physically. I don't, I don't know. Versus like Mike, like Michael Fe- Phelps curling. There's bobsledding. You sit bobsledding look fucking sick. You like sit in the in the bobsled, and it, it kind of is like a seat, and then your head pokes out, and then you go phew phew around the ice, and you go really fucking fast. How fast do bobsleds go, Brittany? Could we know? Uh, I think it's eighty-five miles. No, uh, I don't want to bobsled. It's terrifying. Okay. Eighty-five it's kilometers. Per hour. It's insane. No. It's really insane. Bobsledders are crazy. I don't know. I would pick nothing. I'm not good at any of those things. But you could be. But yeah. If we practice every day, day in, day out. You know what? You're right. I'm going to take figure skating lessons. Mm. If I could have, like, if I could just wake up tomorrow and be able to do something, it's figure skating. Figure skating. <laughs> in the figure skating world, it's known that four, five, and six years old is a good age to start ice skating lessons. <laughs> Damn, hard. that's crazy. That, like, if you just don't get your kid in early, they don't have a chance to be in, or I mean, they do, but like. like 
Yeah, it's harder. But it doesn't mean you can't Holy not shit. learn it, right? No. Yeah, yeah. Watch. Come back to me in six months. I'm going to be <laughs> finished. Six months? A year. Two years. Two, uh, a year ago, Lily did dance class, and now she's really good at it. <sighs> okay, listen. I gave up on dancing. What, what kind of dance were you learning? Hip-hop. Hip -hop. Mm. I could I just, my body just wouldn't move. And now she can pop, lock, jam. Drop it. Dude, I couldn't do the stupid, like, he tried to teach me how to do the, the chest thing. Isolations. Just, the yeah. ice, I could not do it. And then the hip thingy, I'm like, I don't move my hips. <laughs> I just don't move my body. I quit dance in eighth grade, so. It's no, hard. Sixth grade. Yeah. It's okay. Now my new goal is figure skating. You can do it, Lily, I believe. That would be so fucking hard to learn. I'm just going to come back in a year and watch. And it's going to be like, hey, guys, let's go ice skating. Yeah, no, she no, just, let's just casually. Yeah, casually. Let's go ice skating. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, let me just, let me just get on the ice. Oh, oh, oh. And I just like, started making like figure nines. <laughs> triple axel right off the bat. Yeah, triple, whatever the heck that is. Yeah. Perfect landing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Three We're jumps. throwing roses. She shows up in like an outfit that's all like the sparkly. <laughs> yeah. I do love that. You're scared of outfits. They yeah. Really Beautiful. Really pretty yeah. outfits. Wow. I do. I think my highest chance would be track and field. Track and field. I think I would sprint. I can see you. I think, that. yeah. Yeah. I did that when I was in school. And so, yeah. <gasps> when I think of runners, I always think of like that picture of the bloody nipples. Oh, because jersey chafing? But the chafing. I never got that. I, I didn't so understand that. A lot that. of runners run, and the shirt chafes against their nipples. Mm. Sometimes it can bleed and stuff. There's a picture of this guy running, and there's like two bloody like streaks down where his nipples are. It's so like yeah, a lot of people have super sensitive nipples, and yeah. like that's a thing. So they'll there's wear like pasties, basically. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say you can yeah. wear like a sports yeah. bra or yeah. something to help. There's a lot of things about running that we're like. The more I read it, there's a lot of runners, something runners. The runners high. The runners. Which is yeah. interesting because we're supposed to be runners. That's kind of like our whole evolution. Well, I, <laughs> so, I'm so sorry, evolution. <laughs> Not me, though. Yeah. No, you're a gatherer. You can sit and gather herbs. I do like gathering. <laughs> Let me gather the berries. Have you heard the thing that like our feet are not... Um, how they're supposed to be because our shoes, shoes constantly like contract our feet and so our feet are supposed to be way more wide and like it fucks with our balance and the way everything like how everything works yeah. our feet are supposed to be more wide mm -hmm. yeah meant to be barefoots is what was your you said you did track mm -hmm. do you remember your prs no <laughs> not at all were you sprinter <laughs> but i was or? pretty good yeah i was a sprinter i ran um 100 meter, 100 meter hurdles, and the 4x4. Four four. Wow. I ran a mile in 12 minutes. Me too. Wow. I walked a lot. I, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to ruin my hair and makeup in school. Uh, I was a fucking try hard. I broke the pacer record in school. Cool. I broke the high, like the vertical record in school. Um, I, well, I had a mile record in school. Like I was a try. I would show up like ready on mile day. Wow. I'm yeah. impressed. No, I like. I'm impressed. <laughs> I couldn't even if I tried, kind of thing. Yeah, that's impressive. I, I remember took the pride pacer. In athletics. I hated the pacer. That gives I me love the pacer. No, the pacer. I would just be. Like, I just can't be the first one to leave. So yeah. I would run until one girl would like get out first, or one guy, whoever it was, and then I would be the second one because I just didn't want to be first. Yeah. But they got out pretty early. Like it was always like <laughs> you're 18. like okay, I'm easy. like all right, pacer. Run, I'm gonna go sit now. <laughs> like I tried. I didn't like running, but I did triple jump in high school. Oh, cool! Yeah. And. The I've said it a couple of times, but I went to a high school where it's like very jock school. Mm -hmm. Like we had Barry Bonds and Tom Brady and like other like sports stars. Um, and I was like basically scouted by the track coach. Like he saw how tall I was and like, you're going to jump for me. Yeah. And was like, I, I tried track in middle school, hated running, not. And he's like, no, no, no. If you jump for me, I won't, you won't, you won't run. I won't make <laughs> you run. <laughs> you just have to jump. And I was like, okay, sure. So then I, yeah, I did really well and was like the captain of the, the jump squad my senior year because I would, I forget, I think my PR was like 42 and a half feet or something, but it was just like natural to me. Yeah. Like I would, Long ass legs. my best, I would break my PRs when we'd come back from spring break and I like skipped all of training. I would come in and like break it and he's like, I, you're an enigma, but I'm glad I have you. Oh <laughs> my God. Wait, so you definitely have your Olympic sport. I'd probably, yeah, be a jumper. Yeah. Jumping. Wow. Damn, Lily, I wonder what we're good at. Like, he can jump, she can run. What is our thing? Sleeping. No, but like, generally, what could we pop? Like, I can play I wonder. piano. 
What about like you could pick up something like volleyball, skateboarding. You could pick up. Yeah, maybe I have incredible hand-eye coordination, but I, I don't know it because I don't play sports. Yeah, we should maybe. play volleyball. We should go. Actually, I mean, I've love been volleyball. talking about this for weeks. Can I we play do volleyball it? so bad? Me too. Well, I think the thing is, is like, it's whoever takes the initiative to plan it. Okay, this weekend we're going to play volleyball at the I'm beach. I'm going to Texas. For what? Also, I don't like beach volleyball. Yeah, I mean, I like sorry. indoor volleyball. Indoor volleyball, so we have to find an indoor volleyball court. Oh, yeah, so now it. we have to wear pads and we don't have to wear pads. We can oh, no, just eat nobody wearing Lily. pads. Oh, you're diving? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 I'm a fucking tryhard. I can't. No. Yeah. 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 I'm going to wear a helmet. Wait, Alyssa, She's going to smack us in the head of the ball and me and Lily make... No, 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 no. I really actually, I can play volleyball. I could probably play volleyball. Yeah. Okay, there you go. I can see you're probably a mean libero. Libero? What? Libero. Libro? The Libro? I couldn't spike. I had no confidence. So I did the little set people. It was really fun. Didn't you have to block too as a setter though? Yeah, I wasn't that good at it. I was only good at one thing. <laughs> I do love, um, yeah, if you play Killer, the volleyball mm-hmm. game, we all stand in a circle. It's bounce, you know, we bump, baba, spike. If you get hit or you like mm. miss it, you sit in the middle. And then we try to spike you. <gasps> but then if you catch it, you swap. But if it bumps you, it's okay. It's like, it was really fun. Never played. How often were like you in the middle? Blast. I was in the middle a bit. I, you, don't, you also get hit, but you, it's like, you, you get used to it. Like, yeah. yeah. And it's you try like to catch whatever. it. It's like, well, it's fun. We should play it. I'm in. I'm in. At first I was like, that sounds like bullying, but actually I feel like that'd be a good way to get you used to like fast balls coming straight yeah. at you. Yeah. Because like spikes, are, they're so fast. Yeah. And you have to be ready to like dive and catch it. I think an OTV sports series would be really funny. Series? Like if, yeah, like if we got to, together and played like a bunch of random sports, like we all got together and like the first episode of the series is like we're playing fucking softball mm-hmm. and then we go, yeah. And like so we you're just have like be the only one that's good. I'm horrible at anything that involves a, like, well, okay, there's not the, there's one. I don't like softball or baseball. I'm horrible at softball the, and baseball. I just don't like the hard little balls. Like it's yeah. so hard to, you know what I mean? But like we could do things that like everybody like who plays lacrosse like I did like you had the lacrosse oh God, unit in lacrosse. high school but like I don't think any of us have really played lacrosse. That's when we could all be bad. I've never sports. played lacrosse. How do you just casually play lacrosse? I'm really <laughs> it would be really funny <laughs> because you don't. I think it's really hard. Like keeping the ball in the net ping is like pong. super fucking hard. <laughs> ping pong. Yeah, ping pong. like ping pong, badminton, Tennis, like badminton. Just I, I really do want to do volleyball. Could be fun. <laughs> so fun okay well <laughs> i'll go play with broden <laughs> we'll go play some stuff <laughs> i would be down for like volleyball the I, thing is i am i'm like so <sighs> i'm the last pick for ball or for um dodgeball kind of thing i would pick you first yeah yeah i'll drop all your balls that's i won't okay. hit anything that's i'll okay. probably trip that's okay <laughs> still pick you first <laughs> i pick you first broden because you're tall. Yeah, I was going to say, bro, can love block those code. Balls. Yeah. Well, I think it's about time that we wrap it up. Thank you, everyone. Stop. This is my third take. Everyone, shut the fuck up. No one did Thank anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. City on, Quarter Jade, Lily Pichu, Brittany. Um, this month's channel revenue for the podcast will be donated to Ukraine. And that it from me that's all that's all i got now i'm just rambling i'm waiting for somebody else to pick it up because i don't know what else to say anyone anyone at all hello anyone lily has to pee lily has to pee she has to go goodbye